have to get through the uh, have to get through the hay bales. It's about 5:45, so it might be a little bouncy. Bunch of buzzards over there. Okay, we haven't flown for quite a while. The weather's been pretty nasty. Today's been the nicest day. Yesterday wasn't too bad. We're going to head across country here. It's a little early still, 5:45, and uh, so we'll uh, probably get some bounces between between now and uh, seven o'clock. We're about 365 feet in the air, and we're going uh, into the wind about 23 miles an hour. Trims are uh, with that uh, to three. I wanted to get up pretty quick because I had a short takeoff, and I had all those hay bales in the way. So I wanted to make sure that I uh, got up and over those trees, around the trees, and so forth. I've been seeing an airplane, a little Cessna, flying back and forth in this area. Hopefully he sees me now. He's been buzzing back and forth. Today's trip isn't going to take us too far. I promised... Uh, my family that I would uh, try to fly over they're out at a, uh, a homecoming and uh, my little granddaughter she's out there dancing so I promised I would try to fly over there and wave to her about 630 feet A lot of the hay fields are getting cut today and yesterday we had some weather that finally opened up so uh, kind of nice corn is about six foot tall we're out here by I think I said already but uh, if I did I'm out heading towards uh, Adamsville I took off uh, right by my house or over by my house Probably one of my favorite uh, runways. When the uh, hell bit of bells of hay, the big round bells aren't there, it's even better. I'm going to, instead of going straight for it, for Adamsville, I'm going to follow the one of the main roads that heads to it. Heads to it. It's uh, not quite straight to it, but at least if something happens, my Uber driver won't have to go too far to come pick me up. About 700 feet. Uh, that's above the ground. Altitudes, seven, uh, 1600 feet. Got all these uh, chicken farms out here. What they do is they bring all these little baby chicks in, then they grow the uh, baby chicks to a certain size, and then they bring a big truck in and load the truck up and take them back. We're uh, skirting the edge of a uh, a larger airport, so we'll stay to the right of it. It's G, and I uh, try to fly away from that area. Still climbing. We're about 800 feet. A lot of buzzards down there. I adjusted my torque trim before it took off, so I'll probably connected here pretty soon. 
Uh, get over the road here, and I think we'll drop down a little bit. Way off to the right is Conesville. That's where I fly a lot out of Graham Field. Got some uh, different shoes on today. I know you're asking, what's the special occasion? Well, I just thought I'd put on a pair of different shoes. And I've only got one pair of these. I don't have four of the same. About uh, 725 feet in the air, about 26, 27 miles an hour into the wind. Or to the side of the wind. It's kind of shifting from uh, west, north, northwest. So we ought to get a pretty good push head back, I would hope. But uh, 28 miles an hour now is pretty quick uh, with the trim at three, so. We're in no hurry. I said I'd be there around six o'clock and we got six minutes to go a few miles. So I finally uh, received my uh, dog bone or my bones and I've got them wrapped around my uh, frame and then connected to my carabiners. So if anything detached in that area, there's a little bit of redundant safety. It does add another dimension. Shout out to Marquez, who turned me on to those. Actually, I have two sets. They sent me one, and for some reason, they sent me another set. So, And they're both uh, 2021, so they're within uh, inspection dates, so that's uh, that's good. All right, there it is straight ahead. There's a big white water tank. And they have a little, uh, kind of little fairground or it's a little township, it's a little tiny town, so there's four. They have a good fish fry there, and the fire department is there, and EMS is there that comes out. So we're very appreciative of them. I don't know if they have any rides or not. I'm not seeing any Ferris wheels, but, oh, I see some kitty rides. They're behind the trees there. See the merry-go-round. Yeah, I got two minutes. So I'm on time. See if I can stay away from the crowds and the, and the so forth. Okay, I think that's enough. If, if my little granddaughter didn't see her paths, then I probably ruined the whole dance thing. She's probably waving to me while she's supposed to waving to me while she's supposed to be dancing.
home. We're about 190 feet above the ground. Twenty-three miles an hour. We're about 450 feet, about 31 miles an hour. We're just sort of picking our way through here, trying to stay away from most of these trees, make sure we have a, a bailout in case anything comes up. There's a big old house over here with a nice pond fountain. Like they got a Mickey Mouse pool. Just got Mickey Mouse ears. Been flying for about 35 minutes. About 6:14. And trims are all the way in, and we'll just go ahead and see about glide. See where we end up here. It says we're about 0.35 miles away. Wind's blowing us to the side here. Need to crank it to the right a little bit. We're just at idle. Yeah, let's see which way the wind is blowing. Kind of get an idea of where we're going to land. We got all these bales of hay down here. Yeah, we'll dodge one and cut over to the right, dodge the other.